This is IUP TV News broadcast from Davis Hall. We will bring you our weekly news bulletin. I'm Jake Taylor. And I'm Emma McCarthy. Today, we will bring you stories related to IUP in the Indiana community. We will begin with local news. Spring semester started with great activities that connected students and the community. This semester, interior design students helped businesses in Punxsutawney by creating a proposal to build Punxsutawney Connect, a co-working space with a mission of providing easy access for both temporary and permanent office space. The students will develop proposals for design of the space, which includes high-speed internet as well as other office amenities. The West Virginia teachers are going on strike again. The unions have called a statewide walkout Tuesday this week due to the state education bill that they view as lacking their input. The strike caused nearly all of West Virginia's 55 counties to call off public school classes on Tuesday. This is the second time the West Virginia teachers went on strike after the 2018 strike that launched the Red for Ed movement. George Mendoza, the Navy sailor whose passionate kiss in Times Square was portrayed on the cover of Life magazine, has died. He was 95. Alfred Allison said the photographer never got the name of the sailor, but Mendoza claimed it was him. Many experts who analyzed his facial structure came to the same conclusion. The photo has become one of the most recognizable photos of the 20th century that captured impromptu celebrations across the country after Japan declared its surrender in August 1945. Once again, Facebook and its owner is on the spotlight after the UK Parliament accused them as digital gangsters. The criticism comes especially toward Facebook's practices and co corporate conduct. The Parliament believed that Facebook need to be accountable for the spread of disinformation during the US presidential election and the UK Brexit referendum vote, both in 2016. For two consecutive years, IEP's <laughs> Career Development Center has held various activities this spring in order to prepare students for their internships as well as future jobs. Under the name SUITUP, the center, along with other special events and discounts for IUP students. Trent Gross has the story. This is Eddie. He is a senior in education department. Like any other senior students, they are excited as well as nervous with the future ahead. My plan is to just uh, try and uh, find a teaching job back in my hometown, see if I can uh, maybe slide my way in and teach where I uh, grew up, and that's what I'm looking to do. For Eddie, feeling confident for an internship might be the first step, and finding the right clothes is one of them. Okay, why is it important to have a good resume? That's how you basically brand yourself when you go into an interview. Um, it, if you have a good resume, you literally ran, you really land the job. Why do I participate in this cell? Well, it's a great way for IUP students to upgrade their professional wardrobe. I participated in this event um, because it's a great way to get more clothing whenever I need to go to a professional event or an interview. Um, it just is a great, in, affordable way to get more clothing for those types of events. <laughs> This year, IUP and JCPenney are working together for the second time, at least to make students feel more ready for a professional workplace. Well, overall, we hope that this helps all IUP students dress for success. JCPenney is only allowing IUP students, faculty, and staff in during these times. What is the idea behind this plan? Well, we just want IUP to dress for success. JCPenney is offering prices of up to 40% off to IUP students on professional clothes, shoes, and accessories. I would not normally be able to afford these clothes, but during this event, it's actually really helpful for students to increase their wardrobe and at an affordable price. So, Students are also able to come back another time for 20% off their purchase. This additional sale will allow students to come back and purchase more professional clothes when there's a different selection available. What will I do next now that I have professional clothes? Well, I have an internship this summer, so I'm probably just gonna dress myself for that and like, I don't know, look professional and try to fit in with everybody else. With as big of a sale this is, the students will surely be able to move on to bigger and greater things with their lives. This is Trent Gross reporting for IUP TV, signing off. And now we are reporting a story close to home. 
To commemorate Black History Month, we want to feature one of our professors in Communication Media Department. Professor Armani Davis has taught for the Comm Department since last fall. He is one of three Frederick Douglass scholars who have been admitted in IUP. Tyrone Gilman has his story. Everyone has different college experiences. You have the college student taking the five to six necessary classes while being involved in organizations around campus and upkeeping a GPA. Then you have student athletes while also taking the five to six necessary classes, upkeeping a certain GPA, being a team player, and keeping a positive attitude. When running track, you think it's everything. Like it's like the only thing you're really good at. But education-wise, it's really important because I don't know if I broke my leg and I can't run no more. I have to rely on education to help me out. So yeah, it can be tough sometimes. But at the end of the day, if you work hard, work on time management, you can definitely succeed. Professor Armani Davis, former football player at Duquesne University, in 2012 played in three games with two tackles being defense in. Um, athlete work with school workers, actually really hard to juggle at first just because coming from high school, um, school work was real easy when you transition to college. You expected to do a lot of stuff outside of the classroom. Being an athlete to try to help you out with things like study tables, but study tables only require you to study for five hours a week. You're taking five classes, that's one hour to study per course, but then you're doing like 30 hours on top of uh, your sports life, and then you want to have a social life mixed in there as well. So a lot of the times, schoolwork takes the back seat as you're trying to find yourself when you mix in and move in the college space. Being great at a particular sport can be successful through circumstances. Should we have other alternatives? So um, I definitely think that when I first enrolled in college, my goal was to play at the next level. That's what I wanted to do. That was the dream. I think a lot of guys who played ball with me would say the same thing. Um, you know, you feel like you were the best at the high school level. You move into college. You're supposed to be the best at the college level. You're best if you're coming in on full scholarship. Um, so that, that's the dream. That's the goal. You see that as more tangible than anything that academics could bring you. I didn't really start getting connected to academics till like my junior year. I didn't pick a major to my junior year, and that's what I really first feel, uh, start feeling connected to school. I think at that point I realized that maybe the NFL wasn't the next step for me because there were guys from all over the world who were considered the best at the high school, um, and I wasn't even the best on my team at that point, so academics had to become a priority. He completed his master's degree in communications at Edinburgh University and bachelor's in integrated marketing communications at Duquesne University. Captain of the Fighting Scouts football team, Davis was involved in mentoring programs for at-risk students and established relationships with several organizations, including work with Urban Innovations 21, Randall Industries, and Bayer Material Science. He has been involved in black male leadership development programs as well as numerous civic and leadership organizations. Now, Davis is teaching at Indiana University of Pennsylvania Department of Communications Media courses in the department's new Masters of Science Strategic Communications program as well as the undergrad program. The road of success can have different avenues. Putting your best foot first is the first step. I'm Tyrone Gilman reporting for IUPTV News. Professor Armani will be defending his dissertation about athletes' experiences in colleges next month at Robert Morris University. We wish him the best of luck. Coming up, Michael Costa will bring you sports news. Stay tuned. IUP's women's basketball team continues to break records after the team's win against Pitt Johnstown. The Crimson Hawks improved to a 21-1 overall record and a 16-1 record in the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Although the game against the Mountain Cats wasn't as high scoring as other games this season, it was one of IUP's best defensive games while holding them to 11 of 49 shooting and 35 points. Additionally, the shooting percentage and field goals made are both season lows for the IUP defense. Senior forwards Carolyn Appleby and Brittany Robinson both put up double-digit points in their most recent win, which contributed to their 23-6 run in the final quarter to help solidify the win. The women's team will be back on the court against Clarion Wednesday, February 20th. The Pittsburgh Penguins are starting to heat up at just the right time going into the last quarter of the regular season. While going 5-4-1 in their last 10 games may not be the greatest, 
The Penguins only had losses of one goal to playoff teams like Tampa Bay, Calgary, and Montreal. The captain, Sidney Crosby, was the NHL's number one star of the week, scoring 14 points in nine games, including a trio of three-point games. He scored his 25th goal of the season for the 11th time in franchise history, putting him right behind Mario Lemieux, who leads the franchise in most 25-goal seasons with 12. Evgeny Malkin has also been a significant contributing factor to the Penguins' recent success, scoring four goals and five assists in his last five games. The Penguins will look to improve against their upcoming games this week against the Devils, Sharks, and the Flyers. Students in communications media at Indiana University of Pennsylvania can focus on a variety of areas, including media promotions. Our promotion students learn their skills by working in a hands-on environment gaining real-world experience. They learn how to use media to promote, produce, and manage events, and how media organizations operate. They create promotional campaigns and help clients pitch their services, products, and events. With excellent classes led by experienced teachers, the Communications Media Department at IUP is perfect for students interested in media promotions. For the third time this season, the Duke Blue Devils men's basketball team returns to number one on the AP Top 25. They replace Tennessee by earning 58 of the 64 first place votes, while Tennessee drops to number five. Two of Duke's talented starting freshmen, R.J. Barrett and Zion Williamson, each averaged 22 points this season, making them the Athletic Coast Conference's top two scorers. Another starting freshman, Trey Jones, is second in the league, averaging five assists, but also shines on the other end of the court as one of the nation's best defenders. Next week, we will report on the ACORN Project, the latest exhibition at the IUP University Museum, as well as other activities around campus. There are activities around campus on Black History Month. You can watch the latest Oscar-nominated film, Green Book, on Thursday the 21st, or a talk by IUP alum Pat Adams, a stage manager at the Wilma Theater in Philadelphia, on February 27th. Please stay tuned. We'll see you next week.